Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler and welcome to a brand new series. We're going to do Oxygen Not Included. This is a game that I did a few Let's Sample episodes of a month or two back and had a lot of fun with it. I first saw it on Night Ghost's Twitch stream one night and I couldn't uh, I couldn't pass it up. I had to go get myself a copy. It's kind of like RimWorld. In fact, it's very similar in its mechanics and very addictive in that, in that sense. You've got uh, characters you can name and they've got uh, their own little personalities and that's a lot of fun. So I sat back and, and didn't create a series at first. I wanted the game to grow up a little bit and they've made quite a few improvements in the background. It's just come to uh, Steam Early Access and uh, let me read from the, the notes here of a few things they've just added. Um, this is the agriculture update. So We've got uh, new plants and buildings and yummy cooking recipes. Mm. Uh, lots, of, lots more to do with farming. Uh, last update had to do with temperatures. It was, I think, it called the thermal upgrade or thermal update. So a lot of temperature issues. It's kind of a sciencey game. So you get a lot of gases and and uh, temperatures and pressures and and plumbing and and construction and engineering. It's a lot of fun. Um, now we'll get into more of what the improvements are later. Let's look at the characters real quick. Uh, I picked the, th the three that we're going to start with and name them already. Ebony was my first patron over on Patreon.com. So she's going to get the number one character. She's been, been a patron for a, quite a long time now and just wanted to, to say thank you to her by giving her uh, top honors here in this game. So Ebony, we've got a little saying down below. Ask the pressing question like, where can I get a leather jacket in space? Handy is also a patron and Handy just wants everyone to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> little little fun uh, sayings underneath each of these characters. And Murphy. Murphy is a, is a YouTube channel, Murphy Plays, that I uh, just started watching. He's also doing this game. And I think he's better at it than I am. So definitely go check him out. I'll put, I'll put a link down below so you can go and, and find him and uh, learn from him as well. He's, he's a, got a good channel over there. It's kind of fun to watch. So his saying, Murphy dreams of owning his own personal computer so he can start a blog full of pictures of toast. And with that, we're going to do the Space Burrow. That's going to be the name of our colony. Let's give this one a try. Embark. And we are here. Now, where is here? Let's see just what we've gotten ourselves into. Hmm. Got some food over here. Water's down below. Which works pretty good, though it is easier if the water is up above and stable, meaning not um, like this. Two rows will generally break apart and it'll flow through. Don't want a bunch of, of water right up above you that will break through. But if the water was above, then you would have time to build a nice granite basin and then slowly drain all the water down into it and seal it up. But water down below will work with that. Let's see here. So we're going to lose this into whatever this is. Vacuum at the moment. Okay. Oxalite. Not much. Wow. Five, one there, three-ish there, maybe two. Two. And that's it, at least of what is exposed. Carbon dioxide in there. We've got vacuum here, vacuum there. Hmm. This could be a challenging map. Actually, not that much food. One thing that I've noticed with this uh, this update is that you tend to start off with lots of food and you don't really need to farm at first. This is, I've, I've started a couple of games now, one of them to create the, uh, the intro video, and they've always had lots of food. And this one doesn't. This could be a bit of a challenge. I think so. Um, let's go ahead and get this going. I'm going to keep it on slow speed. Probably most of the series. I don't tend to race through a series. I take my time and I enjoy it. Um, not liking the temperature in here, huh? 67 degrees? It feels pretty good to me. Um, I'm 72 degrees in my little studio. Let's create some basic raw materials to work with. Let's do that. And... Let's leave that block there, do that and that, and we'll do something like so. 
don't want to expose all the oxalite. I want to meter it into the base and get enough time to be able to deal with things before uh, we run out. Especially with only so few. That's probably one of the smallest starts of oxalite I've ever had. Hmm. It's going to challenge my skills a little bit. Anyway, what to... I guess while they're doing this, let's... Well, let's do this. Harvest. Uh, auto harvest. We'll set it as a 7. If you guys come across these guys, go ahead and harvest it And when we get there eventually. Um, I was about to say harvest 9 just from, from old habits, but I, I've, it's kind of funny. I was watching uh, Murphy plays, play his, his uh, first couple of episodes of this update, and he is making it a point to intentionally not use priority 9 unless it's absolutely necessary, just emergency status only, which is kind of kind of funny. I wrote in there, I said, oh, if I, you know, th thinking about that would make me twitch funny, trying to trying to accomplish that. How many Let's Plays have you seen where everything is nines? That's, I've been guilty of that, too. It's a good policy to get out of that habit. I think I'm going to attempt that as well, though not necessarily successfully, but we'll see. While they are doing that, let's kind of get a sense of what is going on. We're going to run out of air on this end, but this will ooze over there. No problem. What do we want to do? Bed, living area, I tend to do above the uh, printing pod. And I tend to make bedrooms rather than dorms. These guys are stuck here. They're going to be stuck here for a long time. But let's make it nice for them. I'm going to give each of them their own space. Otherwise, we've got, I see cold over here. Let's look at temperature. So we've got food storage in this area and cold uh, air that we can tap and move into the base as necessary. A little bit of heat forming down pretty much all the perimeters. Wow, and quite a bit over here. Interesting. A lot of heat in this base. We're going to have to use uh, insulation to uh, try to at least keep the living quarters com uh, comfortable. Um, how to deal with water right now. I'm thinking we'll kind of seal this guy in with an access point, drain all this water down into something more permanent. I see we're about to, about to break free over here. I'll try to keep that on the screen so we can watch it happen. But let's see, how do we deal with this? Let's ladder. There we go. You don't want an opening right over your water if you can avoid it. So let's ladder down at about here with an extra sink below it. Yeah, a couple of them. And then we're going to come across like so. And then we can go ahead and ladder down into here a little bit too. Yeah, we'll do one more. And that way they can come down and get water, go back up. If anything spills in, it's going to spill down below there. Are we breaking through yet? No drips yet. I want to make a, a bathroom or get an outhouse in. Where to on the outhouse? This is all temporary at the moment. Hmm. I'll wait a little bit on the outhouse. I want to keep that in view, but let's go ahead and extend the floor across like so. Eventually, I think we'll leave this alone right now. We'll leave all the plants alone that we can. This is going to go across. I think it can go all the way across. Let's just shoot that through there at, for the moment. And let's increase the priority. Where'd you go? Right. Oh, I got to right click. There we go. Let's just throw a larger number into there so that when we dig above it, they are. We'll do something like that. They are building the floor underneath first. We're not dropping goods down into the water. Otherwise, that is more resilient than I gave it credit for. It's going to take a while to finally burst. As I say that, there it goes. <laughs> Didn't go far. Okay, you're still vacuum. Vacuum. No, we filled in everything. We are draining slowly. Kind of need to watch the uh, uh, the simulation of the, the physics there. Though I would think that fluid would flow much faster, but well, that's the way it works here. Anyway, we didn't lose much, so that wasn't much of a void. Okay, and we have an oxalite hiding down there. So there very well may be more as we go further down. Though we are going up against slime. I wonder if we're going to contaminate this water. That is possible. 
have to think about how we're going to deal with that long term. Otherwise, heading up into this area, and we're heading out to create bathrooms. Let's let's do that over here. We need to do it soon, too. But we'll go ahead and get access to water over there, make them happy. Won't really need the water just yet, unless there's more usage for water than, you know, with this new update that I'm aware of. You know, if anything's been rebalanced or changed, usually you use water for uh, uh, your, what are some of the, the names, the algae terrarium, that sort of thing. Um, outhouse. Let's get going on that one. Where to? Kind of as far away as possible. I built a couple of them. That way... There's no accidents while one's waiting for another one or waiting for one to be emptied. Let's throw in a floor tile into there and dig out. Yeah, we'll go ahead and tap the vacuum. That'd be fine. We'll do that. All right, so, and let's increase the priority to, say, a seven on these guys and pathway into those guys and get them built as soon as possible. Did that not take? It didn't. Let's try that again. Dig. In between. There we go. So that we've got at least one operating well, by first thing tomorrow. We're not going to make it today. And we are dropping stuff in. Yeah, no matter what, we're going to lose some of it down here. So we'll have to go in and get it. These are mealwood seeds. No food in there. There's a little bit of algae in there, but no food. Okay. So that stuff can sit. That's not that critical. So, where to? How to? What is first? I want to get into this. I want to get... I want to get up this way. I want to get the food taken care of before we... Uh, you guys going to get that one done? Close. I don't think so. Before we get any rotten food. Alright, we're going to get this one built. Then we're going to work on this one. Take it up to an 8 just to make sure it happens tomorrow. Okay. All right, so food storage. Let's make that happen. Base, tile, I are you across, and I hear holding the shift button helps. Yeah, hold the shift button, and I can go anywhere I want, and it will only draw in that line. That's nice, because I am always drawing all over the place with my lines. That's going to drop out of over there. We don't want to tap into this area. Carbon dioxide... Pressure, 400s. Pressure in here, 1400s. 900s. Okay. Up in here, 12s. 12s. Okay. So we'll lose pressure by tapping into this, and it's a quite a good size void. So I don't want to tap into that. Let's just get near. Near will get us to negative 2 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, that will definitely keep our our uh, our food cold enough. So let's put in food ration box right there, and let's tunnel into this. Two for now, like so. Ah, we got to punch through oxalite to get in there. I don't want to do that. Tell you what, let's do this then. Tile me at an eight right there. Seal that up. Ah, we just went through one. Okay, we'll seal that up. You guys are over here right now. And we'll open up this. I kind of want to meter this out the best that I can without uh, losing too much of it. We're going to go through there. And there we're going to cancel that one and give us a pathway that they can climb over for now. So dig out these guys right here. That'll get us in there. Okay, that'll get food stored. We'll use the area for much more than food for now. Now, a ladder going up. It's not much reservoir, so I don't want to be a ladder firing up at this point. Where does the ladder go up and why? We're eating. We have a functioning bathroom. Good. That's good to see, and they're all going to eat and, and have to uh, de-eat <laughs> all at the same time. Um... I'm thinking a floor, another open floor, and then bedrooms. That gives us pathways through, path up, 
bedrooms can kind of be their own little area. Come off of the top and come off of the bottom to grab pathways that go up and out. Kind of a sealed, uh, temperature sealed, and maybe even pressure sealed living quarters. That kind of works. We've now got, and I don't think it's going to show me, no. We've got our normal electric wiring that handles 1,000 watts, 1 kW. Used to have a wiring that did 2 kW. They've gotten rid of that as far as I can see, and they've gone straight to a 20 kW, 20,000 watt wire. That is ugly. As far as from their point of view, they despise it. They don't like it at all. And the decor debuff is huge. So you've got to hide it. So I've got to figure out just how to use that. I am thinking somewhere down low or up above. I guess it depends on where the power generation is going to be focusing. We'll need to transform into that run shoot it through the base and or loop around the base and then wherever we need to tap it to get back to our the power that we that we use for our normal items then we can tap off a leg and we have up to a thousand watts to put on that leg and then tap off another leg and do another operation send another one way over here and do a thousand watt operation all off of that that 20 kW trunk line so that's kind of the concept that, as far as I've been able to figure out, that they're going for now with the game. So it'll be interesting to see just how that works. Kind of foreshadowing a lot of what's going to be coming up in future episodes. I don't know if we're going to accomplish a whole lot this time, but, but uh, well, we'll, we'll get a good start. Otherwise, we'll get this one done. We've got bathrooms. We've got food. I need to get up into here. Let's start laying out some floors just to see how we're going to go i'm thinking the problem is though i don't know where i want to put that main trunk line because that's going to play havoc on on uh any kind of renovations to the base later you almost have to have that designed in ahead of time am i going to go low or high i think i'm going to go low i'm thinking we're going to send a lot of the polluted water down low and down low over here is cooling. Two possible places to place power plants. All right, so we're going to go low with the main power trunk. Then I'm free to do what I want up here. One, two, three, four. It's typically the height that I make my floors. Let's just throw a few of these in as, as uh, placeholders. You guys are... I'm going to keep them busy. Hmm. I'm going to just pause it. That way I can think. Because I need to lay out one of these floors. Then we'll know where our uprights go for the ladders. So if I were to... And what do I have available? And one problem with doing this is it counts your available materials as you place them. Even if they're not being built. There's no way to create a true placeholder. It's going to take away... Where is it? Uh, 200 sandstone for each one of these so I've got to uh, be limited on how, on how I do this but furniture cot if we were to if we were to put up a center wall let's try this you know, designing this on the fly something like what did I just do coal I guess I didn't click try that again all right hold the shift and we'll center on this guy. Well, something like that. All right, send you up a ways. And that is the back side of the bedroom. Let's put in a cot. Each of them a cot. And it'll be mirror image. So split this axis right here. Whatever I'm doing this side, we'll do over there. So a cot. And then I'm thinking a flower pot. Give them a, a good uh, bonus to, uh, to decor while they're sleeping. We'll put up a... a uh, artwork above it and then back into furniture let's put their own mess table which isn't there yet all right so one space for a mess table and a door i think so and a door which we'll use this for now so mess table door floor like so basic little bedroom ladder up or do i need a void 
I think about that. Any, it's hard to regain space later. Let's leave a space. We will ladder there, and the door may actually go right over here instead. So with that, there'll be another one another set up like this. So I need one, two, three, four, and a door. So five. Tell you what, let's just do that. You go away. There's a basic bedroom. Now, prison architect, I could then copy this and start pasting it in wherever I needed to. Don't have that feature here. One, two, one, two, one, two, and a ladder. So two, four, six, ladder. And hold the shift. I'll take this all the way down to here. Where does that land here? Pretty close. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll work with that. All right, so with that set up, I'll go ahead and let you guys get to work. That gets us into this area here. And I'm going to go ahead and lay a few of these out while they're starting to build these. And then we've got to get into power, got to get into research. Lots to do to set up one of these bases. Um, actually, this would be my first floor for bedrooms. So I'll take you down into there. And how many? That's a good question. Early, earlier in this game, this game's not that old, but earlier, once I got past about 10 or 12 characters, what they called duplicants or dupes, there was just no way to maintain the oxygen. It, you just couldn't do it. It was, it was too frustrating. I mean, I, I couldn't do it. I've noticed in these later builds, they've rebalanced it to make it not so impossible, so you don't have to spend so much time barely surviving and spend more time enjoying the game. So we could go more than the the 10 that I was going to shut this series down at, just 10 characters. Might be able to go at least a dozen, and then maybe even later, once we really get all the systems going, we just might go crazy. But let's plan for a dozen. I think that's a good balance. We're not going to put a dozen in immediately, of course, but make that our eventual goal as far as characters and named characters. And we'll get uh, um, patrons that uh, have bought into the, uh, the name, you know, be on the first of the list for named characters, and then we'll get subscribers in here as well as you run out of out of the other. Eventually, it'll all be named characters in here, and everyone can follow the series and watch what their little dude is is doing or little dudette at the moment. But let's finish laying out the bedrooms. I click that, and it doesn't do any good. That's interesting. Let's see how straight I can do this. One, two, three, four. Are right, you across? Something like so. And then same thing over here. Now, I also will eventually be taking some of these out and putting vented or, or gas permeable tiles in to get our carbon dioxide to drop down and into uh, various low points and process that. But not at the moment. So we're going to door one, two, three, four, five. So that comes up like so. And one, two, three, four, five, six, like so. I think that's right. We'll lay out these bottom four, make sure I've got the got it correct, and then I'll duplicate the rest later. So let's get into furniture, four cots there. I'm going to build backwards, make sure I've got that right. What do we want here? What just popped up in here? Insufficient oxygen. Let's check out the oxygen. Do a lot of talking. I'm make sure that they're, uh, they're still breathing. Once we pop into this, that's going to add some. We... I have one of these guys left. We're going to have to get power going soon and get uh, oxygen generation going. It's probably going to be time to break into this as well. I think so. Let's go ahead and deconstruct these two. And we'll start pumping that into the system as well. But we are going to run out of oxalite really quick. Um, what do I want here? Let's get the doors in. That one there, there, there. And... Decor, we got we had a plant in there. Alright, so that leaves two spaces. Yeah, that looks like it's lining up just right. Okay, so furniture cots. There. There. With that, we've got our basic bedrooms. Yeah, I like that. We'll get more to put in them later. And I do want to get up into there, so let's go ahead and dig this out. Not nine. See, that's that's the old habit. Just go straight to nine. Just get her done. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to break that habit. Let's do that. 
We're in here now. We're processing the food. Ah, and we want this to be a level nine. So I will use nines. I want food without even thinking that food needs to get over there before this guy eats it all. So that's a hatch, in case you're new to the game. Hatch. Not an ebony, a hatch. Nocturnal scavenger. I will consume anything within reach that fits into its mouth. The wasteful excretions of a hatch can be used as fuel. It poops coal. <laughs> Digging up buried objects may release a hatch. Details. Nothing important. So they are friendly unless you disturb them. Then they... they they wake up a little angry. Got to deal with, with that. Um, I want, yeah, I want that off. What was I doing? You are level nine. You are a deconstruct. There you are. Gonna get rid of this. We're gonna transfer all that food and all this food into here, and it should stay refrigerated. Four point six degrees. I don't know what the official temperature range that it wants. Not getting a sense of what it is. Details is is different. Info. I wish it did say keep within this to that temperature. Hmm. What was that though? It contains bristleberries at 26.3 degrees and cooling. That's interesting. Now it's containing muckroot and its temperature is dropping and meal lice and their temperature is dropping. Aha. Uh -huh. Anyway, that's in. That basic layout is done. I'll build three layers of that. Hello, contaminated water. Don't think I'm going to get this one built until we've dealt with that. What are we exposing in here? We've got us a puffed, an extremely buoyant, non-aggressive species. Puffed rids itself of excess pathogens by excreting lumps of slime with each breath. So it burps out, it sucks in the polluted oxygen, and eventually burps out a slime ball right there, which you can then convert into algae, which you can then either use to clean out carbon dioxide or create oxygen, which is probably stuff we'll get into next episode. Otherwise, for this one, We've got to get some research going. We've got to get uh, power going. A lot of basic stuff's got to be done. Um, I'm going to leave all of this. Is there something growing there? Algae? No. So we can go ahead and take that one out. Uh, can't just hit dig. I thought there would be a dig box there. No? Okay. Well, yeah, we'll do all that. Anyway, let's get into some basic stuff here. We're going to want research. Yeah, we'll probably keep it out in this area here. That guy... There. We'll put in the supercomputer. Right there. Let's get some basic power. This will all change over time. Um, temperature. Pull out of this. We'll be able to cool down over here. I'm thinking I want the... Uh, want this guy, the generator, the, the, the squirrel cage over on this end. Batteries, hmm. Let's drop a couple batteries out over here, kind of away from all this. Kind of warm this area up and not uh, warm up our food. Okay, let's go with that. Electrical power, I'm going to drop you under the floor. Same with all of you guys. Hide certain things and they're much happier. Um, this one, you can notice if you make a mistake, if you just back up the path that you went, you can undo it. It takes a little patience, but it can be done. So, these guys are in. Gives us research. Gives us power generation. Gives us a way to store power. Um, I'm trying to remember what I have in the way of uh, research. It was just... Murphy, who's got learning of six. Handy's learning of one. Ebony had a zero. Okay, so we're going to have one researcher this time. Otherwise, I would build two of these basic research stations. Because I can't even look at research until we get it built. Interesting. 
because they can get you know, both of them hop on and wipe it out real quick and then they're off doing other things again and just kind of gets it over with quicker but it won't do us any good this time unless our next dupe has a real good learning uh, grade now as far as duplicates new ones being brought into the game I'm gonna take my time with that we're not gonna we're gonna accept very few only the cream of the crop are gonna be allowed in because there's there's too many resources to be consumed by one that is not pulling his weight so we're gonna have to be careful and selective there outhouses are doing fine we need to start storing things the our, right now our stress is zero the clutter tends to stress them out over time them getting wet tends to stress them out much more so now than ever before so we're going to have to deal with that too where to just stick some some storage off to the side it's ugly in their minds you don't want it here in the center you want it where they don't walk through it over and over again and right now this is going to be kind of a messy area with all of the contaminated soil that's going to come out of the outhouses so i want a place to to kind of contain that the contaminated or the uh what do you call it the polluted oxygen it tends to float i've noticed it tends to cling to the top so give it a little bit of a domed area up here and it will uh it'll kind of congregate there until you have the research available to deal with it so let's Hmm. Let's tile out this area like so. And then, how best? I kind of want to get into here, but I'm, it's not going to let me. Well, I could, I could do something like that. Hmm. We'll deal with that in a second. How best to do that? I don't want to disturb these plants. That's not going to do what I wanted to do. Let me cancel that out. Hmm. Let's deal with this. What do we have? Now, learning is important. I want to make sure that we've got learning in just about every one of them. Not so much for the research, so that there is a bonus there. But as you see down below, the uh, skill leveling. Five, plus five gives you plus 50% skill leveling, so they're going to level up twice as fast. So that is important. Now I've heard that if it starts at a zero, they're never going to improve. I haven't actually seen that in action, so I'd be curious to see if that actually does that. But let's see. Well, it may be the case because when you go to jobs, you know, like uh, Ebony didn't have any learning on hers, but and there's no there's no way to do research so maybe that actually is the case because those squares will all be missing i just happened to to, to roll a couple of really well-rounded characters when i you know was working on setting up the game we'll probably never see that again there's always going to be voids somewhere um but i want at least two or three under learning when i can get it and then the particular characteristics we're looking for um, we're going to need a creative soon, so which would be what in here? Oh, creativity, right there. I was looking for art or some other synonym. So that person would do really well at doing the artwork, but with zero learning, we're, we're going to take forever to, to uh, uh, increase these skills, and we won't have access to these other ones. So with that, I'm going to say we're going to pass on all of these guys. So reject them and keep this running, though. That way we'll get the most chances at a good character soon. I don't mind being spammed by it. That's okay. So this is being built. We've got storage to take care of. And I think I'm going to just sit back and stare at this a while and kind of figure out what and where and how. So let's call this one done. This is a, this is a good start. There's, there's so much more to come. It'll get more exciting next time. So with that, I'm going to call this one done. This has been Noble Rambler. Thanks, guys, for watching. Bye-bye.